That's the Scottish thistles. Hey folks, how's it going today? We're out to the Cornwallis here. Welcome to another episode of the New Scotland Fishing Adventures. I totally appreciate you guys coming out and checking out what I've got to post here. Um, I've got Olive with me. She's right down here. Hey Olive. Hey girl, yes girl, yes. I've got a good buddy of mine, John McCulloch over across the way over there. He's getting some time in on the uh, on the uh, river already. I'm not planning on being out too, too long today. We've been here for uh, we about half an hour or so right now and uh, just getting kind of set up. I plan on doing this river in a couple episodes and uh, piece it all together for you guys. Um, it's a beautiful day. It's October. Uh, we're into the season right now where you can only fish on the Cornwallis River as far as rivers go for the Annapolis Valley in October. You can't keep anything. You have to uh, return everything. I mean you're gonna catch whatever you catch but technically this time of year in the Cornwallis you're targeting brown trout. Um, it is one of the watersheds in the valley here in Nova Scotia that offers brown trout and there's even some sea run browns in here. Truth be told they're a wise wise fish. They're very difficult to catch. They're easily spooked so they do have a tendency to uh, be a little bit more scarce. You can get them quite abundantly in the ballpark of 12 to 14 inches uh, but beyond 14 inches I've seen them as far as 20 inches. They have a tendency to really uh, be a difficult one to catch. I'm gonna put the drone up for you guys, show you some overhead uh, uh, views of what this section of the Cornwallis has to offer. This is the area that's off of Lovett Road and it intersects the Cornwallis uh, on an overpass and it easily takes you into this farmer's field and you can gain access as far as you want all the way down into the bird sanctuary. In October the entire river is open and uh, there are certain sections of the river that are closed during the normal season. It's a big big river. There's no way you can do it one day without giving respect to the holes that you're fishing. It's a fantastic river. Hopefully you get out here and check it out. Like I said, October in this province is a beautiful time of the year to be out. We've got the fall colors just showing up. You might be able to see some of them in the wood line in the back. Hopefully uh, in the next week or so, they're really gonna take off. I'm colorblind, so I can't take full advantage of, the, of the, uh, the, uh, what the fall colors have to offer. But I can tell you from what I can see, even with my polarized glasses on here, it is beautiful. So I see my own reds and yellows and greens and uh, yeah, it's beautiful for what I can see. So I can imagine those of you that aren't colorblind, it's just spectacular. Uh, in October in Nova Scotia, it is kind of chilly early in the morning. As you can see, I'm wearing a knitted uh, uh, sweater, hoodie even right now, uh, just because it does get a little bit brisk in the morning. Although today, it's quite nice. I may be a little bit overdressed if I was quite active today. Eh, we'll see. I see all kinds of uh, little uh, spawnings, uh, hatch hatchlings and stuff like that in the water. Uh, little uh, uh, young uh, schools of fish and stuff. So. They're, the fish are in here. Uh, it's low water right now. The tide is out. This section of the river is tidal, so it's always constantly filling and and uh, and and retreating as the tides are. We're really close to the minus basin here. It's it's tidal basically all the way up to the overpass and just beyond that. So it's a river that is really never shy of uh, of a good amount of water. You just have to time it right as to what you want to go for. Although I like fishing on the tide out, we still are um, on the tide out here, but it's at the lower point of the tide. When the water level really starts to come in and the tide in, there are opportunities where fish move, but quite frankly, I find that the water coming in, it tends to signal the fish to kind of go into the deep holes and just wait out until the tide starts coming out. That's when you see a lot of the bugs moving around too, during those two actions, and uh, that's when the fish get a little bit more uh, active. This, uh, this river is just absolutely pretty. It's a, it's a really spectacular river, and I really encourage you to get out and check it out. There's some nice spots, even if you're not fishing, just come on out and sit by the river, 
bring a uh, little camp stove and uh, you know spark up a coffee and all that kind of stuff I actually brought some with me this morning it's so nice being out here I don't even really care if I get that much of a line wet but I'm going to for you and uh, and also for myself it's just it's good up here okay
Yeah.